Hi. In this video, I'm going to talk about Darcy's law. Uh, this is a part of our course on groundwater hydrology. Okay. In the previous video, we discussed about Posley law that can be used to describe fluid flow in cylindrical uh, tubes. But the problem is that the image of porous media or porous space revealed that pores in natural porous media don't resemble uniform and smooth circular tubes that form the basis for Posley law, nor the pathways is clearly defined. Look at, for example, these two figure here, these two picture here. This one is the uh, 3D representation of the sand packs, okay, which was obtained by synchrotron X-ray microtomography. As you can see here, the porous space is far from the idealized cylindrical uh, tubes that, uh, that form the basis for Posley law. Or for example, here, this, this 2D picture, this 2D image, you see the pass phase as well uh, is not that, um, uh, it, it is not clearly defined, okay? Therefore, in a set of working with flow through each individual pores and pass phase, uh, one option is to look into the flow through porous media from a macroscopic point of view or average uh, point of view, okay? That replace uh, the microscopic description of individual flow pass phase. I like here to highlight, I like here to highlight that, uh, of course, now, that there are uh, several uh, methods, for example, numerical methods that can be used to describe flow through each individual pass phase and, and pores, like, uh, I don't know, direct numerical simulation, lattice Boltzmann uh, simulation, and so on. Um, uh, and, and we actually use uh, some of these methods in our current research, but obviously uh, discussing about the details of those methods are beyond the scope of this uh, bachelor level uh, groundwater hydrology. So here in this course, we uh, focus uh, on only on a macroscopic description of the flow through porous media. And the first one who described macroscopically saturated flow through porous media was Henry Darcy, who was a French engineer, okay? A little bit of history here, that is Henry Darcy was a French engineer who made many important contributions to hydrology, flow in pipes, road and bridge construction, etc. He was commissioned by the city of Dijon, uh, which is in France, to find a solution for cleaning the city's water supply that was contaminated by the waste of mustard industry. Okay? In 18, let me move this one here. In 1855 and 1856, Darcy, in search of suitable filtering media, conducted experiments with sand packed filters, okay, that established what has become known as Darcy's law. Initially, that law was developed to describe flow through sands, and it has since uh, uh, been, uh, been generalized to a variety of situations and is in widespread use today. So basically, he was testing different sandy materials to find a suitable uh, filter uh, for a clinic of the uh, water supply uh, of the city of Dijon. And in those experiments, he uh, um, uh, basically found uh, the law, uh, the relationship uh, that uh, has become known as Darcy's law. And the unit of permeability, which you will uh, learn about permeability in a few minutes, uh, Darcy is named in honor of his work. Okay, so basically that was his experimental setup. He had this big tank here. You see this one. You fill it. Uh, he fill it with uh, a different type of sand, different type of. Basically, he was looking for a proper filter, suitable filter, and you apply a pressure here, and then you collect the volume of the outflow at the bottom here. Okay, and then let me move this one here. He found that if he plots the volumetric flow rate, the capital Q volumetric flow rate versus the applied uh, gradient, pressure gradient, he gets a straight line, okay? And here different symbol, I guess it refers to the different um, filtering media, different type of sand. But in each case, uh, he found uh, that he established empirically that the flux of the water, water through a sand column is linearly proportional to the applied pressure gradient. And the constant of that proportion functionality is called hydraulic conductivity. Okay, so Darcy law is expressed as Q, that is the Darcy velocity, equal to Q, capital Q, that is uh, volumetric flow rate, divided by the cross section uh, of the column, basically, and volumetric flow rate, you can calculate it as V, that is the volume of the collected water, divided by time, times A, okay? And Darcy's experiment found that this uh, volumetric flow rate is proportional to the applied hydraulic, basically, gradient, and the constant of that proportionality is called hydraulic conductivity, saturated hydraulic conductivity here because you're dealing with saturated flow, Ks, okay? So 
And then the, since the, this is H is hydraulic head with the dimension of length, and delta Z is the length, therefore delta H over delta Z is dimensionless here, and the Q, the Darcy velocity, or sometimes called a specific discharge or superficial velocity or Darcy velocity, has the dimension of length per time, that is like velocity, therefore KS, uh, saturated hydraulic conductivity, has the unit of um, velocity, the same unit as velocity, that is dimension of length per time, okay? Here in this course as well, we assume uh, the upward direction is positive, okay, in this course, we always assume upward direction is positive and also direction um, uh, yeah upward direction is positive for vertical flow and also direction pointing to the right is positive okay and direction to the pointing to the left is negative and the downward uh, uh, flow as well is uh, negative another thing that you need to consider here is that the differences delta h and delta z should be taken at the same order what does it mean it means for example if you write delta h is equal to h1 minus h2 uh, you should follow the same order delta z will be z1 minus z2 okay so here so that, as you can imagine if you for example let's say use water um, they use another type of fluid, where, I don't know, let's say honey, for example, right? Uh, depending on the type of the fluid that is flowing through your porous media, or even, or for example, when you change your porous material, so when you change the fluid or change the porous material, you can imagine that the velocity will be different, right? But when you look at this equation here, this is the velocity Q and delta H over delta Z is dimensionless, which is the hydraulic gradient. Therefore, these this effects of the fluid properties or and the effect of the porous media properties on the flow should to contain or is contained uh, in the saturated hydraulic conductivity, okay? So the Darcy velocity Q depends on both the properties of the fluid and properties of porous media contained in the hydraulic conductivity. Therefore, the KS, the saturated hydraulic conductivity, may be decomposed to fluidity, fluidity and a geometric factor, which is a function of the uh, basically transfer properties of your porous media. Okay, so KS here, you can split it, decompose it to K, let's call it permeability, it's called permeability that is related to the transfer properties of your porous media um, and another factor, rho G divided by mu, which is the fluidity, which, uh, which uh, represent the fluid properties, like uh, here, is, if this is density, rho is density, G is the acceleration of uh, gravity and mu is the viscosity, okay? So now if you uh, uh, write this equation here, uh, Ks here, let me delete this one. So if you stop Ks, I write K times rho G divided by mu, right? So here you will, instead of K, if I write K, that is the, this is the K lower, K, lower case K, that is permeability, uh, rho G divided by mu. So uh, uh, delta H times rho G, uh, basically H is, as mentioned here, is a hydraulic head, right? When it is multiplied by rho G, the, the energy is expressed in, in water potential. We had this discussion in the previous video, in, in one of the previous video videos. And uh, so basically H times rho G um, uh, will be um, uh, the, 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 the uh, potential energy expressed in basic water potential, which will be the unit of uh, Pascal, okay? So instead of rho G delta H, I can simply write, instead of rho G delta H, I can simply write delta P, and then, um, so here, instead of, so I, I write here delta P, right? And then here you will have your K divided by mu, which is K divided by mu here. And then here, instead of delta Z, I put here L, which is the length of the column. So you can basically write Darcy's law in this format as well, but pay attention here that K, the lowercase K here is permeability uh, with the unit of uh, length square. And that unit you can obtain by a dimensional analysis of this equation, because you have the dimension of this one, you have the dimension of this density, you have the dimension of gravity, acceleration of gravity, and you have the dimension of viscosity. Uh, uh, then you can calculate the dimension of the permeability. And if you do that, you will find the dimension of the permeability is length square, as mentioned here. Okay, so the dimension of this is permeability. And here, delta P is expressed in uh, Pascal, okay? And, uh, and while here in this format, the capital K is the is uh, hydraulic saturated hydraulic conductivity with the dimension of length per time, okay? As uh, mentioned here, uh, here, I guess, let me move this one. Yeah, as mentioned here, uh, that is the dimension of uh, lengths per time, like velocity, and delta H over delta Z is dimensionless. And delta H is in the unit of lengths, okay? 
And uh, so that is about Dorsey's law. And uh, so uh, there are uh, the efforts to predict permeability that K, the, uh, uh, the K here, the efforts to predict permeability from basic properties such as property, uh, such as uh, porosity, date back to Cosney's model, 1927, okay? Cosney invoked analogy between Dorsey's law and Posley law for flowing cylindrical pores, basically to obtain, to basically relate the permeability of porous media to the, um, the properties of the porous media. And in the next video, I will uh, uh, talk about uh, that uh, aspect. Okay, uh, so I hope uh, you find this video uh, helpful. Thank you.